Greetings, housemates, and welcome to another episode of Learn to Play Endless Legend. I'm Flop, and today we'll be going over the Marketplace Part 2. Um, Imperial Coinage unlocks the resources and stockpile section of the Marketplace. It is an Era 2 research that you will need if you want to fully unlock all the goodies of the Marketplace. Of course, the Era 1 technology that unlocks hero and unit purchasing is the Mercenary Marketplace. Uh, both of these are pretty key for almost every standard playthrough. <clears throat> so, what do we get for our research trouble? You unlock units and heroes with the Era 1 Research Mercenary Markets. You unlock these three tabs of purchasable items with the Imperial Coinage Era 2 Research. So what can we buy? We can buy any of the six um, strategic resources, including ones that we won't have access to until Era 5. You can also purchase any of the luxury resources, including ones you won't have access to until later eras, um, or ones you need kind of badly for a quest. Um, it tells you the price and the demand. So here, if you look at the demand, the standard price is 13, but because demand for dye is pretty high in the world, um, we're gonna have to play, pay a little bit extra. That's approximately, what, 25% more, 20%? Um, and it also unlocks saleable items. This is, this is really key. Um, remember when we got 145 emeralds way back and I never felt like spending it because I don't need city fortification? Well, it turns out I can sell emeralds at a higher price than normal. Uh, I won't get 16 for them, but I will get 5.1 um, because I guess the tax is 60%. Does that seem right? 40% of this is... Yeah, yeah, okay, that's about right. Um, <clears throat> so you can sell things for 40% of their um, purchase price. Uh, but that's still not bad considering I wasn't going to do anything with these anyway except get five approval because right now my cities aren't being attacked at all. And they don't really seem like they might. So if you are overstocked in something or you produce quite a bit of it, um, I won't say where you've pr we're producing enough adamantium to sell. Um, and of course... Uh, I'll note that demand for titanium, sorry, titanium, is down. Uh, so I actually would not be getting that much for it. Note that strategic resources are worth more than luxury resources for the most part. Um, but uh, yeah, that's how it is. And remember, you need more of these for each city you have. So the fewer cities you have, the cheaper you can afford to purchase things like titan bones um, to increase your productivity um, for the next 10 rounds. So yeah, there's some really interesting bonuses. You can really exploit this if you keep an eye out on it. Um, know what all the various boosts available to you are um, and purchase them when required. Like you're making a big science push um, or you really need to regenerate uh, your armies quickly for the next 10 rounds, then purchasing some pixie blood could be worth it. Uh, or whatever, dust orchids. Whoa, look at that, 20% more everything on all cities. Um, yeah, I could purchase 15 of these for about 300 dust, and I could enjoy 20% increased everything. So, what are we gonna do with it? Well, we're definitely gonna sell some of these emeralds. Um, you can only sell 10 at a time, um, and then the market will reassess. So we're gonna sell 10 for the price of 5.1 and watch what happens over here to demand. So we just got 50 dust and the emerald demand went from 3 to 0.4 dropping the price for us by half a dust. Um, so we can sell 10 again. Now demand is at negative 2.2 um, and suddenly we're getting uh, 1.3 less than we were. And let's go ahead and sell a couple more. Yeah, so um, as you can see, uh, if we wait, we can sell more emeralds back later. Um, and we can just keep the emeralds on hand. They're only gonna, demand is only going to increase over time as this is like an all time low demand for emeralds. 
So uh, that is how it works. Uh, so besides purchasing these luxury goods <clears throat> and selling strategic and luxury goods, you can also sell stockpiles. Note that the necrophage cannot sell their um, stockpiles as uh, we have one right here and it is obviously not available for sale here. Um, and you can purchase stockpiles. <clears throat> we can pay straight up 213 dust um, to put 100 food in one of our city's mouths. Now, you'll note that the food stockpile here is 100 and our racial bonus is 120, which is pretty awesome. Um, we could buy industry if we really need to finish up a project for someone else. And we can buy science if we really need to rush research something. Also, um, you'll note that our transactions are recorded here. Uh, and if we have, if you were the roving traders or whatever they are, um, you can actually see other people's transaction histories and you can make life hard on them by say, dropping, I don't know, if they're selling emeralds like we were, then they can sell more emeralds to drop demand or um, they can then understand that buying emeralds would be cheap right now or whatever. Um, so we're going to consider buying some dye here to help complete our quest. Um, let's take a look at the quest itself. Search the unspilled ruins after gathering 10 titanium and 20 dye. Do any of these other quests require anything in particular? Nope. All right, so we need 20 die. Uh, right now we have 13 and we're getting one die a turn. Do we need to use a hero? No. And yeah, we have plenty of time to assign him to an army um, if we had an army. Uh, perhaps we should make one Getting a Necrodrone out on the field would be pretty sweet. Um, do I want to... Uh, it's not going to be worth it for us to rush this. Uh, the longer we wait, the less things we have to purchase using the marketplace. Um, because we do accumulate one of these every turn. And uh, that'll give our city time to actually wrap up the industrial megapole and... Um, produce this necrodrone with just production cost instead of us spending any of our valuable dust. So uh, that's been a quick look at what the second marketplace technology can unlock for you. The ability to buy and sell strategic, luxury, and stockpile type goods um, for greater glory. Uh, it can be especially useful for finishing up quests or for producing those um, rare uh, quest reward type artifacts that you occasionally gain access to in the game long before you can actually access the types of resources it takes to produce them. Um, like sometimes you'll get a special sword that is absolutely fantastic but requires like nine palladium to, to equip to a, a unit, uh, to one of your heroes. And you're like, how can I ever get that? Unless a request randomly gives it to me. Uh, you can purchase it for like 400 gold uh, dust. But that's it, my friends. I hope this has been informative. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. And until next time, farewell.